Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. So this is chapter 5 hydrocarbon. In this video, we're going to discuss on the subtopic 5.2 alkenes and at the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the boiling points of isomeric alkenes. Boiling point of alkenes. So, the boiling point of each alkene is very similar to that of the alkene with the same number of carbon atoms. So, the boiling point increases as the molecular size becomes larger. The number of carbon atoms increases. Okay, why? The same explanation that has been discussed in alkene. Okay, so... A bigger molecule will have a larger surface area. So when the surface area is larger, more van der Waals forces can be formed between the molecules. Thus, the van der Waals forces exist between the molecule will become much more stronger and more energy will be needed to overcome the stronger van der Waals forces. Thus, the boiling point will be higher. Even though the boiling points of alkene is similar with the one that we have discussed in alkenes but there's one part of the boiling point of alkenes that is slightly different okay we're going to look on the cis trans isomer so in our alkenes we will have this cis trans isomer okay uh, where we change the position of the atoms at the carbon carbon double bond so example i have two butane Okay, so for 2-butene, I can have this 2 structure. So this 2 structure, trans 2-butene and cis 2-butene. Okay, why is it called 2-butene? So let's just recap a bit on the naming. So if you look over here, the carbon-carbon double bond is over here. Okay, this is our carbon-carbon double bond over here. Okay, so you're going to number um, according to the lowest or the lowest number for the functional group. Okay, so it will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Or if I do it the other way around, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so if you look over here, the position of the carbon carbon number 1 is the same. Either it's from the left or from the right. So since our carbon carbon number 1, okay, we need to label as 2-butene because Besides being at uh, carbon number 2, between carbon number 2 and carbon number 3, the carbon-carbon double bond can also exist between 1 and 2. Okay, so that's why we need to differentiate the structure. Okay, thus we put it as 2-butene. Okay, so this 2-butene can exist as a cis trans isomer. Why? Okay, recap again. At the restricted rotation at the carbon-carbon double bond, it is bonded, each carbon is bonded to two different atoms, hydrogen and a methyl group H. Okay. So this is a trans isomer because we have hydrogens, hydrogens over here uh, at a different position. Okay. And this is a um, cis isomer because the hydrogens are in the same position. So this is trans 2-butene and this is cis to butanes. Okay now, so what does this position of isomer have effect on our boiling point of alkene? How does it affect? Let's look on the boiling point. So the boiling point of trans 2 butene is 0 0.9 degrees Celsius while the boiling point of cis 2 butene is 3.7 degrees Celsius. The same structure the same molecular formula but just the position of the atoms is different and it gives rise to a different boiling point. Okay, this is because a cis alkene is more polar than a trans alkene, giving it a slightly higher boiling point. So what does it mean over here when a cis alkene is more polar? So if you look over here on the polar bond. So the red color arrow over here, this is your polar bond. Okay, The polarity came from the alkyl group over here. So uh, one from up, okay, it's like this. I don't know how to explain the position, okay, but 
uh, follow my cursor. So one is down here and down here. So the resultant dipole moment, okay, it will be one over here. Okay, in other words, it does not cancel, does not cancel each other. The resultant dipole moment does not cancel out each other. So that's why it is pull out. But in transtubutin, okay, if you look over here, the position of the polar point, okay, it meets each other. Okay, when it meets each other, the dipole moment cancel out each other. So that's why transtubutin is less polar. So I can say it like that. Okay, so that's why cis alkene is more polar. Okay, by right, it is actually a non-polar molecule. But if we look at each bond, okay, the position, there will still have some polarity. The overall, yes, it's non-polar. But at the bonds itself, it has polarity. Okay, so in conclusion, a cis alkene is more polar than a trans alkene. So that's why a cis alkene will have a higher boiling point compared to a trans alkene. So that's all of our discussion for the boiling point of alkene. So thank you for listening attentively until the end. Till we meet again in the next video. Thank you.